The 90 degree spine on the back of a knife is such a blessing. It aids in so many different things out here in a wilderness setting. Specifically, my mind goes right away to any type of fire. And fire making is huge for us, we all know that. So scraping fatwood, scraping birch, even if we take the one stick fire method and we're making very fine shavings to light with a ferrocerium rod, this is the tool. Also, scraping ferrocerium rods, this is the tool. There's a lot of different things we could do with this 90 degree spine. Custom knife makers many times have that 90 degree spine built into their knife design, which is a great thing. But there's some other knives out there, such as this Mora Companion, which doesn't have a 90 degree spine due to the process of making it. It doesn't mean it's a bad knife, and knives that don't have 90 degree spines aren't bad knives. They can just be upgraded and made a little bit better in my opinion. To take something like this Mora Companion and make it a little bit better by adding that 90 degree spine to it, there's two different methods. If first all, I wanna just get this out of the way. If somebody you know has a belt grinder, let them do it. It's so easy, it's so quick, it's so effective. And don't look at it as much as a wilderness skill to do this. It's more prepping your gear for the wilderness type of thing. So there's not any cheating if you put it on that belt grinder. You don't wanna use a wheel grinder though because of the way the wheel of course has the bevel to it. It's not gonna get a nice sharp spine. So just scratch that idea. If you don't have access to a belt grinder, what's the next best thing? A good old file. The file I'm using for this is my axe file, so we have a coarse and a fine side. This Mora companion has been already squared off, but it's gonna be good for demonstration to show you actually how we go about doing this. There is some time consumption to this, so it's not a very, very fast project. Start out with the coarser side of the file, Place your knife on some type of log or stump that you're comfortable. So you see I'm holding this in place just like that. It's very important that when we begin to file this that we're filing it flat across the, the spine of the knife. We don't want to be going down like this and we don't want to be going up like that at the beginning, okay? By, and that's where putting it on a stump like this is gonna eliminate a lot of that because I just don't have anywhere to go with this file. I can keep it flat, I just have to watch at the end I don't roll it off. So keeping it nice and flat like this, I'm gonna start right where the handle and the spine meet, and I'm gonna just work upward like that. Again, file's cut in one direction, so I'm just gonna start to cut across very simply just like that. We don't have to do much more. Just continue that process and you'll see you're gonna remove material and start to feel a sharp edge on both sides. Once you get so far along, flip your file over and just begin to cut that with the finer side. Now that my filing is done, I have a good sharp edge on this mora. I can then take a sharpening stone right on the top and just begin to work this back and forth. Again, being careful that I'm not rocking this stone at all. Nice and flat right across there. Once we worked on that for a while, there's not a specific time frame, but once you work on that for a bit, feel that edge and it should start feeling really sharp. We're not ever gonna work these sides. What happens when we try to work these sides is the human error just puts too much of a bevel on each side and we remove that spine. So there might be a little bit of a burr, just let it on there. It's not gonna hurt anything. If anything, it'll get removed over time from using it. Just let that burr on there and we should have a nice sharp spine. So you'll see this more now right here. I mean, just throws globs of sparks off of a ferro rod. With just those few simple steps, we have a good sharp spine on our knife. Just to upkeep that, take your sharpening stone and just work that spine once in a while. It'll just keep it nice and sharp and ready for a variety of different uses. So give it a try, grab an old knife. If you're afraid to do it on one of your better knives, try it out. Mores are great knives because they're cheap. And if you really do mess it up that bad, in the garbage or in the scrap pile for just using it for a junker type knife. So give it a shot. I'm sure you're not gonna mess it up. It's really an easy process. This was Dan Wolwak with Cold Cracker Bushcraft. Sharpen up that spine and stay in the woods.